Good morning everyone. So we will start with bacterial cell membrane first. So the cell membrane is also known as plasma membrane, cytoplasmic membrane or plasma lemma. So this cell membrane is a layer that is covering the bacterial cell. It encloses all the content that are present inside a bacteria. So this green color line indicates the plasma membrane. This plasma membrane is in turn surrounded by a cell wall. So this green color cell wall, sorry, this green color cell membrane can be drawn this way. So this structure is called a phospholipid bilayer and uh, bi represents two. So it has one, two, it has two layers of phospholipid, hence it is called phospholipid bilayer. So this one head, this one phospholipid can be drawn this way. So this is the head portion and this is the tail portion of the phospholipid. So this tail portion is nothing but a fatty acid chain. So this fatty acid chain has, you know, it is like uh, two fatty acid chains are there. The first chain that is straight is called a saturated fatty acid. This chain that is bent is called as unsaturated fatty acid. This unsaturated fatty acid will have double bonds in them and the saturated fatty acid have only single bond. And now we will see about this head portion. This red color region indicates the glycerol. This glycerol is attached to the fatty acid using a ester bond. This ester bond is, is the one that is linking glycerol and fatty acid. The top portion of the glycerol is connected to a phosphate group. Phosphate groups are negatively charged. So the other portion of the phosphate group is joined to a polar group which is a positively charged region. So the head portion has so the head portion has a polar group and the tail portion has a non-polar region. This top portion is positively charged, phosphate is negatively charged and this fatty acid chain, side chain do not have any charge. So this tails are hydrophobic in nature. Hydro means water, phobic means fear. They do not like water and they are and, and that's why they are facing each other in a phospholipid bilayer. This head portion, especially this phosphate group is hydrophilic in nature. Hydro means water, philic means loving. They have um, they have love towards water and that's why they are facing the outer surface of the phospholipid. So this this single structure can also be drawn this way. Yes, this is the fatty acid chain. It is a linear chain. They do not have any branches. And this fatty acid chain is attached to the glycerol using ester bond. And this glycerol is in turn connected to a phosphate group. Now we will see about the RKL cell membrane. So the RKL cell membrane has a special feature which makes them, which show them different from a bacteria and eukaryote that is archaeol. Archaeol is a structure that is present unique to the cell membrane of archaea. So archaeol is nothing but a diether lipid. Okay. Bacteria and archaea will have same basic structure but they differ only in the chemical components they have. So in case of an archaeol, this fatty acid chain is replaced with isoprene chain. It is a linear chain, it is a branched chain. And this ether, in case of ether linkage, we have ether linkage. And this ether linkage is 1, 2. So it is a, and that's why we are representing it as di. So we have ether linkage between glycerol and isoprene chain. There we have ester linkage between fatty acid and glycerol. And here it is a, again a glycerol. But in case of bacteria, it is a deglycerol moiety. In case of archaea, it is an L-glycerol moiety. And the phosphate group is the same. And um, so we have only three changes. In case of a fatty acid chain, we have isoprene chain. And the ether linkage is present in case of an ester linkage. And uh, we have L-glycerol moiety in place of a D-glycerol moiety. And this is the structure of archaeobacterial cell wall. Some archaea will have 
a phospholipid monolayer instead of bilayer they will have monolayer so in this case it is the structure of a phospholipid monolayer in order to understand this structure we need to understand this diagram so this phospholipid bilayer can also be drawn this way this is nothing but a fatty acid side chain ester linkage glycerol and phosphate again a fatty acid side chain ester linkage glycerol and phosphate so here it is a bilayer but here it is just a single layer okay so this blue color line indicates isoprene chains and this green color region represents ether linkage ether linkage is present on both the sides and this red color region indicates l glycerol moiety and this black region indicates phosphate group and uh, this is the basic difference between the cell membrane of archaea and bacteria